second time in six months that the ANC has lost the Tlokwe municipality. They aim to get it back in the by-election. Is that realistic? Well, look, it is realistic because by and large, people in South Africa still vote for parties and less for individuals. But that said, the ANC didn't cover itself in glory um, this time around because how do you ignore you know, the outcome of a forensic investigation where at the very least um, they, uh, there are strong indications that the mayor has, um, you know, some, like must provide some answers to very critical questions. Ignore that. Instead, want to deal with the councillors who are breaking ranks. That, I think, was a fundamental error on the part of the ANC, something they have said that they will deal with come um, the, the, the by-elections, which the ANC hopes to win. Is the Tlokwe municipality in a state of anarchy? Look at the deep divisions within the ANC that are coming to the forefront. Everything points to that and not only in Tlokwe. But y y I, I think the, 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 the critical question the ANC must ask itself is whether it is prepared to continue in, 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 in certain instances to back people who are not doing the party any favors. Because if you look at um, the mayor and the sort of stuff he's being accused or he stands accused of, of, of doing, those are not the values that the ANC has um, uh, stood for over, over, over the years. So South Africans and indeed people who are loyal to the, to the ANC have every reason to start questioning whether the party that they support is the party that stands for the same values that they have always cherished and loved, the reason, the very reason that they voted for that party in the first instance. But with regard to anarchy, I don't think it has gone to an anarchic um, state. Things have gone to like, uh, an anarch into an anarchic state just yet. And I think the ANC has a lot of room, ground to cover, but the, it's, it's, it's achievable. In other words, if they were to work hard over the like, um, next few days you know, to actually get um, to where they are supposed to, they will actually win back that election. Because fact of the matter is that the DA doesn't have the numbers. It's, it got where it is now, where the, the new DA mayor will take over tomorrow, um, simply because of those councillors. But if it gets its act together, it will win back Tlokwe, no doubt about that. Thank you for your insight, Vuyo. I'm going to ask you to stay th uh, just there because later on in the bulletin we will be discussing Zwillin Vima Vavi and that so-called sex saga.